This is my uh, MacBook Pro. Well, it's a Hackintosh, not a MacBook really. So I have installed macOS on my uh, ThinkPad. So last night there was heavy rains, and uh, because of that there was a power outage. And after three four hours, my uh, inverter had uh, died. So there was no power backup. The backup had finished. So my inverter shut down and there was no power in the house. Uh, I wanted to use my laptop basically to just watch some videos and spend some time before I sleep for the night because the power never came on. Uh, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi was off and uh, there was no way that I could uh, access the internet. However, I could see videos on my phone but I use iPhone 5s, the old school iPhone 5s and it has a very small screen so uh, then I thought of doing a Wi-Fi tethering using hotspot but as you would know that would drain the battery and uh, uh, your browsing would be limited to just 15 minutes maximum and my battery was not even full at that point of time and since the power was out there was no way I could charge it so what I decided to do was I connected my phone see it has LTE signal so as of now there is Wi-Fi so let me just so as you can see there is the LTE signal and I am connecting it to my laptop but before I do that let me go to my settings okay so this is my network setting so how so you just go to settings and from settings I go to network so as you can see there is a Wi-Fi signal now because the power is on but anyway I am not connected to it you can see see it here there is no Wi-Fi connected so what I am going to do now is basically connect my iPhone to my Mac OS here okay so immediately I got a personal hotspot connection okay so I got a personal hotspot okay So you have the option of using Wi-Fi and USB only just turn on USB only okay as you can see the iPhone USB is automatically connected so you don't have to do anything it shows the status as connected so let's go ahead and see you can see my Wi-Fi is still off okay I have uh, toggled my Wi-Fi switch to off so the Wi-Fi is not there. However, if I go to Google, I can still open YouTube and do my browsing as usual. Of course, it is it is a little slow. It is not as fast as a standard Wi-Fi, but it still gets the work done nonetheless. Uh, it's daytime now and. Uh, the the LTE signal is a little slow here at my place but last night when the power was out and it was during night time the signal was quite good and uh, uh, the internet speeds were also fast as of now I'm not able to open up uh, okay let's try maps let me try gmail okay Google maps but you get the point this is how you can easily access your internet from the phone to your mac os laptop okay so finally it's showing some signs of loading okay my gmail is also loading it's really slow
Yeah, but if you are in an area which has fast internet speeds and uh, and the signal is pretty good, so you won't face any issues. So, so thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.